Newly robbed, the $8.8 billion budget keeps controversial language about federal Title $10. It would prevent health clinics from getting that money unless they can show total separation from abortion procedures. Planned Parenthood says its language aimed directly at them. Nebraskans are furious about his anti-woman, anti-health agenda. Governor Pete Ricketts drew the ire of these protesters outside the state capitol Thursday. The budget he's prepared to sign this stops federal Title X funds chance. for any clinic that can't show a full legal separation from abortion providers. Women's health advocates say that's unnecessary and politically motivated. When you try to take this away for political reasons, um, I have a real problem with it. Fact. Federal law does not allow Title X money to be used for abortion. Instead, the funds are for contraception, annual exams, and STD testing. Those are many of the services offered by Planned Parenthood of the Heartland, which says it won't have time to legally separate its abortion and non-abortion services before the budget takes effect. Thousands and thousands of Nebraskans who could lose their care at the stroke of his pen now, and that's shameful. While some state senators oppose the measure, it is a complex Compromise among others. Clinics that refer clients to abortion providers could keep the Title X money. These opponents say they will vote against leaders who approved this budget when they head to the polls in the next election. That's what I'm going to be doing in November because my daughter counts. So right now, the ACLU and Planned Parenthood are looking at options to stop this budget from taking effect. That includes a challenge in court. However, lawmakers still have one more vote before this budget proposal goes to the governor's desk. Julie, back to you. Okay.